Beneficiaries of the scholarship awards were selected from Anglican Grammar School, Ijoe Taogbolu, Oyemekun Grammar School, Akure, Akure Secondary Commercial, Fewashaye Girls Grammar School, Ijakwa High School, among others. President of the club, Olajide Animashan, said the motive is to touch lives and give hope to the hopeless whose educational dreams may be dashed for lack of funds. Animashan spoke through the club's general secretary, Akionla Motayo, explained that members of the club are complementing government's efforts in raising Nigeria's future leaders. It is also understandable that the ability and or the accessibility may be lacking for some families to support their children's education. Our eyes and mind goes towards such families. It is hope that our little effort in touch such families and put smile, smiles on their fixed faces. Why highlighting the club's community development projects to include yearly scholarship for students, orphanage outreach, health screening program, among others, Anima Shaun said the gesture will be extended to students in Okite Pupa, Laramoki, and Ute, Nose local government area. We believe that this is an opportunity for us to give back to the society, then to complement the effort of the government, because we believe that government cannot do everything. So we sat down as in our club that let us contribute to the, to, the, to the well-being of our people and of our community. That's why we started this program. The vice principal for the American Grammar School, Mrs. Jumokeba Mideli, commended the NGO for its show of love, saying the move will support the beneficiaries to be the best. To them, it is little. But I know to these parents, it is much to them. Some of them, out of pain, even to send their children to school, was very difficult. So even this money will relieve them of all of uh, some of these problems. Some of the students, their parents and teachers, who describe the gesture as laudable, appreciated the exemplar Friends Club International for coming to their race, especially at a time that the harsh economic realities in the country are eating hard on them. At this time, this time of hardship and extreme poverty, you have timid feet and this to put smiles on the faces of our youth. We teachers know what we are facing in the school. Many of them, they don't have textbooks. Even feeding at times, many of us, we give money to them for feeding. I see it as a great opportunity to some less privilege. And I thank the Exemplary Friends Club International for the great privilege given to my daughter. The Exemplary Friends Club International had last year carried out free health screening in the metropolis to enable residents to know their health status and to promote a healthy society among other programs with direct impact on the less privileged. Richard Lesomi, OSRC News.